being far away is not fun. Have you ever found yourself longing to be someplace, but there was just no way to get there easily because it was just way too far? When I was in college, this was a common obstacle. My family lived about 15 hours away from where I went to school, and if I wanted to go home for winter or spring break, it'd be a lot of work for my parents to come and get me, and then to take me back afterwards. There were times when it was just not possible, and I would sit up there in those cold Minnesota winters, wishing I was home with my parents. Loneliness stings more when there's an actual longing on one or both parties, but the divide between you is too great. I can only imagine what it must be like for soldiers who are serving on a foreign soil and for their families. The longing must accent the loneliness to such a degree that at times it can be unbearable. This is how God must have felt when we walked away from him in the garden. You know, when he showed up for the customary walk and uh, he found us hiding in the bushes instead of waiting for him. Waiting in fear. Fear. Fear of the only one who ever loved us. Fear of the one who would literally move heaven and earth to be with us. Fear of the one who would die who would pour out his innocent blood in payment for our sins. Because of this perfect sacrifice, we're brought near to the one who loves us. It's exactly what it says in Ephesians 2.13. It says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near in the blood of Christ. Such a magnificent gift, the blood of Jesus Christ, and how it washes us clean from every stain. And it places us in right standing with the very one who wants to be with us. We sometimes think it's about him keeping us away. But in reality, it's about our sins driving us farther from him. What a glorious God we serve who loved us so much that he shed his own blood to save us. You see, we bring absolutely nothing to the table except a hungry heart. He's the one who brings the feast. Now let this encourage you, Tri-State. Bless you. Thanks for watching.